Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this third additional example, we get to do something pretty cool, which is prove this statement true, but otherwise business as usual, so let's get on with it. So um, the first case, case one, is where we let n equal one, and um, here uh, we'd have to show that um, we'd have to show that f sub one, and yes, f comes with the sub subscript n, and so when n is equal to one, we'll have to write f sub one, right? f sub one of x, um, according to the left hand side, is equal to um, cosine of two x, and the left hand side is all of this, right? And if on the left hand side we look at this general term, when n is equal to one, we'd have cosine of 2 to the first, which is 2 times x, so cosine 2x. But then um, the right-hand side would require that cosine 2x be equal to um, be equal to um, this quotient where n is replaced with 1. And so that's sine of, sine of um, 2 to the power of um, 2 to the power of 1. Um, plus 1 times x, and then in the denominator, uh, and in the denominator, shit, I had my ruler ready, and I have to start over, um, so now my first recording of this video, and in the denominator, we'd have to write 2 to the, um, I think this is like my fifth, 2 to the first, um, and then times sine of uh, 2x, right? Okay, cool. Now, this numerator is just sine of 4x. So we have sine of 4x um, divided by 2 sine of 2x divided by 2 sine of 2x. And we need this to simplify to cosine 2x. Now, we can get there by uh, doing something about this sine of 4x. Remember, the double angle identity for sine said that sine of 2a is equal to 2, uh, sorry guys, it's equal to 2 sine of a times cosine of a. And so uh, if we look at sine of 4x as being in the form sine 2a, well, we can get there by uh, thinking of sine of 4x as sine of 2 times 2x. And so then a would be 2x. And so um, that means that Using this here, we could rewrite the numerator as um, 2 times sine uh, 2x times cosine um, 2x, right? And that's, again, looking at this as being in the form sine of 2 times 2x. That way, we can use this formula here. Yeah, and the identity. We don't want to call it formula, but whatever, whatever. Okay, so um, this here is divided by... Uh, 2 times sine 2x, right? Um, okay, cool. And now we could do this, which is boom, boom. And clearly we get cosine 2x as desired. And so there's um, case one done, yeah? Okay, cool. So next we go to the inductive step, which is where n is equal to k, right? For that, um, I want to save myself some writing. Um, and so I'm going to keep some of the stuff in this double angle identity for sine. We need again it later. So uh, I'm going to tuck it away here. Yeah. Okay. We need it later. But yeah. Um, I think I could use some of this. So let me uh, keep some of it. But yeah. Um, like we need more space because when n is equal to k, I won't just have this on the left hand side. Right. Um, but otherwise can save some time if I get rid of these guys. Basically, you know, uh, this uh, next step, which is when n is equal to k, um, is called the inductive step, and it's rewriting the original statement where we replace n with k, right? Um, okay, so when n is equal to k, first of all, we'll, we'll have f sub k of x and it will equal cosine 2x times cosine 4x times cosine 8x times cosine 16x all the way to um, times cosine of 2 to the k times 
times x, right? And we know that the product of these guys is going to equal sine of 2 to the sine of 2 to the k plus 1 times x, right? And that was 2 times, sorry guys. Sine of 2 to the k plus 1 times x divided by 2 to the k times sine of 2x, right? This here is uh, what we get in the inductive step, which is assume that the statement is true, basically. And we need to make use of this inductive step in our next and final step. And our next and final step is where um, we have um, n equaling k plus 1. So uh, the final step is where n equals k plus 1. And here, uh, what we need to show is that um, what we need to show is that f sub k plus 1 um, of x, which is equal to cos 2x times cos 4x times cos 8x times all the way to cos 2 to the k um, times x and then one more, right? Uh, 2 to the k times x and then times cos of 2 to the um, k plus 1 times x. What we need to show here in this final step is that the product of these guys with this additional guy now, right, is equal to, what we need to show is that it's equal to, it's equal to sine of 2 to the k plus 1 plus 1. So sine of 2 to the k plus 2 times x divided by divided by instead of 2 to the k and the denominator will have 2 to the k plus 1 uh, 2 to the k plus 1 times sine 2x right so what we need to show is that this is true and then we're done well how do we show that this is true well, this is where we need to get to ultimately, but we start with this left-hand side, right? And on this left-hand side, we know by the inductive step what these first k guys multiply to, right? These first k um, items involving cosine, right? These guys, by the inductive step, I went a little too far. These guys, by the inductive step, are equal to this right here. So we can replace them with this right here. So let's do that. So that means that multiplying the first k guys being multiplied on the left side, we can write that f sub k plus 1 of x is equal to sine of 2 to the um, k plus 1 times x. right, divided by two to the k times sine, ah, uh, sorry guys, times sine two x. And so this quotient here, by the inductive step, is the product of these guys, the first k guys right here being multiplied together give us this. We know that again from the inductive step. And so all we have left to do is multiply this by this very last guy and show that the result, which is the product of this here and this here, is equal to that. Well, let's see. So multiplying by this guy would amount to writing cosine of 2 to the power k plus 1 and then times x. And then what's the denominator on that? It's the denominator of 1. But I'll write it. It's the denominator of 1. Okay. We need this here to equal that there. Hmm. First, we see that there is a 2 to the k here, and there is a 2 to the k plus 1 right here. So we can fix that very easily, which is multiply numerator and denominator of this here by um, 
you just have to multiply numerator and denominator of this here that I just grabbed that apparently I don't know how to move. I don't know why is it that I don't know how to move it. It's like I know how to move it. Move. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Like it's obviously like messing on me intentionally because like I re-recorded this video enough. Okay, whatever. Like this lasso thing is not working. Sorry, guys. Okay. So yeah, basically like to fix this k plus one exponent um, as opposed to that just the k here, what I'm gonna do is multiply by a two here and therefore multiply by two there. And this is two to the first times two to the k, not, okay. So like I'll put it in parentheses so that you can tell it's like no. Anyway, yeah, now I'll get my two to the k plus one in the denominator as desired. Otherwise I already have this sine two x and multiplying by one is not going to change. So this denominator is the same as this denominator. Well, in the numerator, by a reverse application of this, we're going to be able to get exactly that. And this is how. Like, if you think of this as being theta, 2 to the k plus 1 times x, then this 2 is theta. So in the numerator, with this 2 that just showed up because of that 2, right? In the numerator, I have 2 sine theta cosine theta. That's just sine 2 theta according to this formula. 2 sine theta cosine theta is just sine 2 theta. So the numerator here, right, can be written as sine of 2 theta. And so that's sine of um, 2. And theta is what I've circled. And that's 2 to the um, k plus 1 times x. Right? And um, the denominator, we already said we've got what we wanted in the denominator, but I'll write it again one more time uh, in a way that will please you, which is I'll lump these two and write 2 to the um, k plus 1, right? And then um, 2 to the k plus 1, right? I wasn't happy with my handwriting. And then sine 2x. And it goes without saying that when I multiply this 2 here to that uh, 2 to the k plus 1 uh, together, they're going to uh, be able to be written like that, which is 2 to the power k plus 2. And so we're done because I have sine of 2 to the power k plus 2 times x, which is exactly like that. So that and this are the same. And clearly the denominator is the same. Yeah. All right. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. There will be two more additional examples. Take care.